Hello and welcome to High Caliber TV, your source for figure and model updates every Wednesday and Friday. So today on the workbench, as you can see, I'm showing the security team who are working with the Rook and their current stasis. Also, I've got the Rook in progress now, which I'll be showing later in the video. But right now, I just wanted to show these figures. They've been getting some attention on Facebook, and I'm really glad with the reception that these guys have got. I mean, the, the posing on them from Evolution is just so spot on. They've got that really arrogant, yet relaxed look about them, which is uh, sort of a really, really cool lends to a really really cool figure anyway so this is where they're at now this is the base color i decided to not go with counter shading this time what i'm going to be doing is sort of the old school trick of spraying the highlights and then the shadows and then working on to the camouflage now bear in mind that these figures are sort of a pseudo russian post uh like a future a near future sort of uniform is what i'm going for there i'm going to try and replicate the current Russian uniform as well as I can, but they aren't meant to look contemporary. So I'm gonna have some really sort of flashy things on them uh, that I'm taking from some some reference material that I've got from online of like um, ISA soldiers and I guess what would you say the guys from Titanfall, the grunts from video games and uh, you know current futuristic media so i'll be posting those reference photos on facebook i think once i get a little further on these guys but since i know you're going to ask i thought i would show the colors that i used for the base color and i think it turned out pretty pretty well so what i did was i went with about a 70 30 mix of interior green vallejo model air and cam green vallejo model air as well and as you can see, the figure has a semi-gloss coat, which is the, the suspension for the entire mix is Pledge Future Floor Wax. And so you put this in your mixing cup first. Got to remember that. I had to learn that the long, arduous way. And then once you've got the amount of that that you want, you then begin to mix these colors. And so like I said, 70-30 and it came out really well. The Vallejo Model Air stuff does not spray well. I'm telling you right now, it does not spray well with my old fashioned isopropyl alcohol water mixture. So I highly recommend if you're gonna use Vallejo Model Air that you either use, they might have a proprietary brand of thinner that you can get, or you can just spend four bucks at your grocery store and get some future floor wax because the floor wax works exceedingly well and it also works with life color. So if you're using those two major brands, I'd highly recommend you use Floor Wax to cut it with. So we're gonna move on to the Rook now. So here is the Rook, all sprayed up with Vallejo German Red Brown. It's, the, uh, it's supposed to be the Nazi War Machines primer undercoat is what the color is supposed to replicate. So I thought that'd be sort of neat to have that red brown and then give this whole thing a uh, sealant of the hairspray it's like ultra fine mist i think is the the kind that i use and that's what rinaldi recommended in his tank art book so of course that's what i'm going to go with but yeah this like i said on the mishap monday video the spraying of this and those two figures has gone so smoothly and using the mr surfacer resin primer out of the can earlier to coat everything really helped make the successive coats go on really, really smoothly. Plus using these primers, after two coats of primer, if you haven't found all the surface defects, there aren't any left, I think, or you just can't see them. So yeah, having a couple of extra thin coats of primer really does help clean up the surface. So this is the state that it's at. We're gonna move on to the sort of pseudo Second World War Russian medium green coating, which is gonna be the prime coating for the vehicle. I don't think I'm gonna be putting any laborious camo patterns on this. I just sort of want it to look like a, a mass produced urban combat vehicle where it's like the sort of thing where 
the war is going so well or maybe it's an asymmetric war in the future that they don't really feel the need to camouflage their vehicles just like in the second world war the uh the allies had air superiority so towards the end they stopped painting their aircraft just because they wanted to produce them so rapidly but some points i wanted to make on the physical kit are these open ports here here are going to be covered once they're painted once the entire kit is painted they're going to be covered by the photo etch plating that the kit comes with now it comes with two really cool photo etch frets that are very all-encompassing let's say and yeah here they are so these plates here are well i'm not sure if you can see but they've got grills in them and those are going to go over top of those openings and then inside of those or possibly outside i haven't decided are these little winglets and they they'll make it look like it's venting exhaust or you know heat sink or something like that for the internals so that'll be really really cool and it'll give it a little unique dimension that a lot of other kits don't have a little bit of sharpness because a lot of the rook as it stands is quite sort of dumb looking like it's got the curves and the sharp angles are sort of overshadowed by the curvature of it i guess that's sort of a defense mechanism because if there it's all curves it's going to be harder for an opponent to get a solid shot into the armor which makes sense so yeah so that's where we're at now i'm really looking forward to moving on with this build and by next week hopefully i will have the main paint job finished so fingers crossed for that thanks very much for watching check us out at highcaliberminiatures.com for resin figures and we've just gotten in Valkyrie miniatures, which I'm really, really excited about. I absolutely love those figures. And we've also got the Canadian Armor Project in. Those, those were my mystery lines, quote unquote, that I had uh, teased earlier on on the website. So check us out for those. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.